Well, seeing as Macmillan never is going to release anything that he says he will- That sounds really mean. As a creator of much less effort, I should apologise for that, but... I just gotta go for the jugular when it comes to criticism of others to make myself feel a bit... And with Super Meat Boy being one of those things, figured I might as well make an actual Super Meat Boy build. So to start, Super Meat Boy Super Fan, I give myself a The Grindstone, and then Lucky Foot. So I managed to bang that on exactly 110. I'm fantastic, I'm Super Meat Boy, I am a cube, and I am firing the things that I typically tend to be avoiding for the most part of my life. Oh dear lord, what happened to you? Oh, that is grim. Ugh, let's get out of it. I felt sorry for you, and then you tried to belly flop me, and oh my god, the damage you can sustain, my boy! Down! No. Oh, you bitch. You, you, you stop! You fuck bitch! Oi! That hurt my feelings. You could say you left me a little sore. Hey, piss off. Otherwise, you'd make me double dip on the puns when I say I should have saw that coming. Would never have seen that one coming, though. An actual good item? Wowzers. Oh, and I couldn't live without taking the lucky saucer of shit on my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it, I'll be a trophy wife. Oh, god damn it, no, I'm not so funny! <clears throat> Excuse me a moment. <laughs> Fucking that's better. God damn it. What are you? Is that an aqua colored poo boy? Go away. No, you can't. I, I killed you. You should be dead. Ow. Oh, well, you're not. No. Ain't nobody give a dick about you. Super Meat Boy, Davey. Hey, I finally know what that part of the totem pole does. It just shits. It just shits. Well, that's depressing. Hello, oh, Chad. Segment-based enemy in a bullet hell made of sauce to cut down your health bar, man. Well, that's thematic. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Could you open up, please? For the love of everything, open up. What happened to my face? I didn't activate anything! Where's me meat boy head gone? Come on, mate. What's the matter with you? That's not even remotely fucking right. Why have I got red eyelids, but fuck all else? There you go. That's better. I fixed it. That you know, until I walk through a door and then it turns off. Oh, all right then, fuck it. I'm sorry, I tried. <laughs> Make a Super Meat Boy build and specifically download the mod so you look like it properly and it turns off anytime you try and play the game. What is that? Glitch. Distortion is getting bigger. All right, I have no idea what these cards ever do. Sometimes it actually just involves the enemies. And I just want to say straight up when I saw that in the shop, thought my game was fucked, didn't know it was a feature. <laughs> Come on, then! Oh! Okay. I turned into... It was basically the Empress card. Well, that's fucking sad, isn't it? Never mind, I thought that was going to be something interesting. Hello, Stain. Bye. Silly bang, and the dirt is gone. All right. What are you cunts? What is that teddy bear? I don't know what the fuck it is. It didn't out the last time I had it. Please fucking tell me you do this one. What, well, it was a lovely little cuddle, and instead, I feel like I was the price tag on the little shit. I got ripped off. Do I just take that and just call it quits? Because thematically, I'd have a lovely bandage girl's sacred heart to me. Yeah. It's all the romance story of a boy that no longer looks like a super meat, but instead, a, a weird child that got perverted by Christ, had his body skin ripped off, and for some reason, put, someone put a saucepan on his head and took a nice big plopper on it. Every time he raises his hands above his head, the skin on his face tears off momentarily. What a hellish existence you have, hydrophobe. How did hydrophobicity do this? What on earth? Oh! I'm gonna remove hydrophobicity for the good of the world, you know? That's probably for the best. That really is. Oh, dear God. I was not prepared for that. Okay, yeah, just the nightmare creatures with bones sticking out of their heads. Get out, you creepy bastards. Wait, what the fuck? This door is blocked. Deliverance, you've blocked a door from me. I'm gonna have to give myself transcendence. 
<laughs> OK. Didn't know that could happen. It's going to be funny if this is the way I needed to go. There is a good chance that there is a fucking <laughs> RNG capability of the game spawning nothing in front of the door which leads to the end. And if you can't fly, you can't proceed. Instant fail. <laughs> I'm really hoping that's not what's happened here. But... Oh, fucking, maybe the next floor. Room, even. But... Oh my god, will you let me finish my point? <laughs> that poor, tortured soul. What's happened to you, man? <laughs> I'm so sorry. But we all know it's for the best you got put down. Hello, Gates. Uh, I was sorry. Uh, got a shot. You up? What is that? Is that a pot of snot? Salty soup? <laughs> Salty soup apparently makes your tears go up quicker. Fair enough. I get it. It's because you'd be crying about the... And the face is gone. Well, we can all remember that for a second and take joy in it, can't we? Boinin' Bush. There's something borderline religious. I didn't think I would be able to vomit out that many sharp things. You know the sword swallowers? I think I took that to the utmost max and reversed it. What the fuck? Where's this coming from? I have no stomach. I'm just the head. I look like somebody got Super Meat Boy and guillotined the cunt and hollowed out his bastarding head for the sake of a jack-o'-lantern. Don't even get me to try and figure out why there's shit on the head as well. There's only so many times I can analogy the plate of poo under my face. Why would you put poo on a jack-o'-lantern? It would melt and stink. I guess this is the flaming bag of dog shit turned up to 11, really. <laughs> only... <laughs> Instead, instead of just standing on a paper bag and ruining that that could have been used for groceries, you're actually destroying a child's decaying head. Uh, I got real fucked up the more I went. The deeper you go into some of his analogies, the, the more you regret starting them, because it's just sad. The lovely chalice of cum. Is that tech nine? How's that gonna work? Oh. By making a circle of fire around select pieces of saw equipment, of course. How else? You couldn't be more dead if you tried! Poor bastard. Ah! But what if I had... Hemolacria? Or, you know, which is what I actually just put, because I'm fucking fat-handed. Hemolacria. Oh, I get jelly bit. Dead. Thank the gods. Alright, uh, now I've got lacrophagy. And that seems to cancel out most of the breakage. Oh, thank Christ! That's all I wanted. Oh, wait. No, I'm not sure actually about that statement. I, I love the ring of fire that I make around myself. So I think that's Tech X with brims. Not brimstone, you fucking bell end. A burning bush. I don't know how I get away with that one. It might start with the same letter, but it's in no way the same. Why do you exist? What? Fuck you. I'm leaving now, because of you. Seriously. To hell and back with those awful stupid whack-a-moles. Just making your fun build infinitely less fun because it's like, I'm immune here. Oh, you're gonna do a progress, you can't. Ah. It's not really all that funny, it's just very annoying. Then again, I say that, calling this a fun build when I can barely shitting move at the moment. Oh, Lacrophage, you made it better. Yeah, it really cancelled it out. Yeah, can't you tell? Hello, Mega Satan. I am a boy that ate some soup that was salty and now looks like he's got cum dribbling down from his eyebrows. I'm going to murder you. You will be killed by an infantile speck of cum. That sentence alone is enough to get you incarcerated in certain states. God bless the YouTube.
watching this if you want to watch another one then please do and if you enjoyed it then do hit the like button it always helps the channel a whole bunch feel free to catch the streams on twitch and thank you very much to the patrons for supporting in any shape form and to the vip specifically jason whitaker david beasley mika adam castorf compass rose zacrator austin j for the surface one's honey's man cryos and aj and spencer demand thank you very motherfucking much and again appreciate you for watching this it goes a long way and i hope to see you in the next one